third stop, Bassmaster Elite Series 2019. It's nice to be in familiar surroundings in this place. Lake Hartwell, very, very familiar. As a matter of fact, over the past oh, decade or so, they've held the World Championship, the Geico Bassmaster Classic here three times. Mark Zona, Tommy Sanders, welcome to Toyota Bassmaster Studios. And Z, this one's gonna be a little bit different though, in that it is a good bit later in the year. Well, really every single Bassmaster Classic that we've covered on Lake Hartwell, one of the best playing fields for a professional tournament, those classics were absolutely frigid and any bite was a premium. Don't get me wrong, there was always quality to be caught here on Lake Hartwell, but here's the, the best way to put it, Tommy. The anglers are going shallow, the weather is setting up correctly, and bites are gonna happen, and they're gonna happen often in this tournament. Oh, those are good, good indications. I tell you what, let's go deeper, so to speak, into Lake Hartwell with our Yamaha Unlock the Lake. Exactly right, Lake Hartwell is an absolute monster. You see at the bottom side of your screen right there, the lower end of Hartwell. Every time we've come here, that's been a major player, but the Tugaloo River, the Seneca River, the other side of that is, always gets a ton of attention. Well, a ton of water in Lake Hartwell this time around. We've been here when it was way down. This time we got about the normal, about 1,000 miles of shoreline, 50,000 acres, and lots of places to go and hide. Hey, if the water's warming, they're coming. Four days of fishing. We got one day under our belt already, so let's take you to Anderson, South Carolina, and the weigh-in, day one. 19 pounds, nine ounces, 19 nine, and for the first time, Brandon Cobb is leading on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Well, if you were making predictions for this tournament and you were going chalk, here was your guy right there. No one, no one in this field has more experience than Brandon Cobb. If he says, I've run out of places to catch him, you have trouble believing it. It's him. fair to say he would have been the number one pick in fantasy fishing across the world. And the other thing about it was, he said going into day two, his worst days, cloudy and rainy, and as consistent as anybody in the field. Brandon Cobb again, gonna take that lead into day number two. Got four fish in the live well here on day number two already. <laughs> mm, there are worse ways to fill out a five fish limit right there. I think uh, Brandon Cobb could be, you could safe to say he's on the right kind right now. So from our day one leader, Brandon Cobb, let's slide not too far down the lake and uh, right behind him, about two pounds behind him after day one weigh in is Micah Frazier, Noonan, Georgia, 17 pounds and nine ounces. Exactly, Micah Frazier with a lot of history here on Hartwell, almost won a Bassmaster Classic a few years ago here. And Micah Frazier said a horrible practice, but getting it done here on day number two. Was worth worth the time I spent on it for sure. Bigger than I thought he was. So many of our leaders, I spy and I'm looking at a lot of fish cruising, locked on beds, worried about this day too. Cloudy, rainy. Well, finding them definitely not a problem. Micah Frazier obviously putting a great limit in the boat. As a matter of fact, his limit of 18 pounds and three ounces would be tied for second place on this day. Drew Cook would have the biggest one at 26. Micah Frazier would retain his spot in second place and in first place, hanging on there, Brandon Cobb. Brandon Cobb had 19 pounds and nine ounces yesterday. Another good day here today. Needs 10, 15 to take the lead. 17 pounds, eight ounces. 17, eight, and with 37 pounds and an ounce, 
Brandon Cobb once again goes into the lead on the Bassmaster Elite Series. The cold weather this week really threw me a curve. I just, I didn't expect that at all. I've actually, as long as I've fished here, I've never fished as cold as it was with the stage the fish are in. So it made it really confusing for me because the water temperature is 58, but the fish aren't in 58 degree uh, stage. So it, it made it actually more confusing knowing the lake, but uh, now it's starting to get a little bit back to normal. Well, Brandon Cobb said one thing coming to this tournament, I have to survive clouds and rain. Well, he did that on day two and there are brighter skies to come. And really looking at his lead right here, there were some giant stringers caught, well, from some of the best shallow water fishermen on the Elite Series. Yeah, Brandon Cobb keeping his a two pound lead approximately over Micah Frazier. We got Stetson Blaylock had a great day as well. And Drew Cook, again, 20 pounds and six ounces on day number two. Pretty strong field in pursuit of our leader, Brandon Cobb, who, as we say, feeling better about it today. It's the first uh, really nice weather day we've had. I mean, the first day was pretty good, but it's even warmer today. It's uh, it's feeling like springtime. It's uh, I'm excited to go fishing. It should be should be a good day catching fish. Hope we run into some big ones. You just never really know out here. You just gotta catch as many as you can. And hope you catch a few big ones. So, I'm gonna do real similar to what I did yesterday. I don't know about area wise. I'm gonna try to fish a lot where we fish, where I caught most of my fish the last uh, two days, but. I'm worried it might get a little crowded with some weekend boat traffic, and uh, I just know how that affects the area. Knowing the lake, I know that it, it messes up pretty bad. So uh, might have to go find something different, but still ready to go. My big bed fish this morning did not work out. They, uh, I think, I think they were gone. I couldn't really see. I think they were gone. I hooked the buck off one of them. It came off, but he was tiny. So uh, I'm just kind of fishing, buying some time so I can see a little bit better now. May go back to them and make sure. One of them still had a fish on it, but I think it was the buck, not the, not the bigger female. So. A lot of times you catch the buck, you can catch the female next cast, but then sometimes females swim off. So if the female looks like it's gonna bite first, I always try to catch it first. I guess I'll go ahead and try to catch him. So I don't see her. Oh God, I got him, but she's right there. Uh, I guess I'm gonna catch him. I don't know. I don't think I wanna catch him. <laughs> There's like, she looked like she was gonna eat it and he's only about two pounds and she's like four or five. Oh my gosh. When you miss once, it just hits the same place every time. My eyes keep playing tricks on me. I feel like I see green spots moving, but I don't know if it is or not. I kind of got like a little stain to the water. Like it's hard to see. This is gonna get real sketchy real fast. She's not that big though. Got her. She ain't as big as I thought. She's pretty good. Three and a half. That was pretty easy. Yeah, Brandon Cobb making it look easy for sure. It's about an hour from here. All the years he spent on this lake went to college, for goodness sakes, on the shores of this lake, and he is reaping the rewards after three days of fishing on Hartwell. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Hartwell is brought to you by Nitro Boats. Abu Garcia. Berkeley. And by Triton Boats. Stop number three for the Bassmaster Elite Series 2019. We started down at the St. John's River in Florida where they blasted the big ones. Totally different uh, scenery there on Lake Lanier and a great tournament as well. And day number three here on Lake Hartwell, which is turning out to be a great, great time of the year to be here. We're down to 35 anglers on this day and after today we will cut it down to 10 anglers. Eight hours to fish and the biggest five fish per day. It's gonna win this thing. Let's take a look at Stetson Blaylock of Benton, Arkansas. His third year. Exactly right, Tommy Sanders. And here's the thing, Stetson Blaylock lives in Arkansas, but this lake fishes a lot like lakes from Arkansas. Really, he was vocal coming into this. He 
thought he could win this event, but one of the true factors on Lake Hartwell, every day you have to run across one of those true yeah. giants. Really, anything four or better is a big one, five or better, that is enormous. My heart's pounding, dude. This is a giant and it's bumping it every cast. With the warmer, sunnier day, you'd think they'd be up there really getting ready. Do not know, but it is frustrating to see the size ones you need and they won't buy it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay on there, baby. Oh my gosh. Stay on there. Lord, let me get this fish in the boat. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Come on, baby. Come to me, baby. Come to me. Don't go under there. Come to me. Come to me. Got you. Yes. Oh. Inside the mouth, way down deep. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know. That one might have just made the cut for us, just that one right there by itself. I mean, <laughs> no words. <laughs> Oh, that's why we do this. That is why we do it. Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm about to pass out. They can't stand. The old Christy crawl. Oh. I'm sorry, but that is absolutely one of the best <laughs> so fish good. catches of the season Incredible. right there, hands down. <laughs> absolutely good stuff. Let's get back to Brandon Cobb. Now he does have a limit in the boat, and you better believe he knows these other guys, like Stetson, are catching them out there today. Got the good limit, but I, I think he knows a move may be necessary here. Could it be our Mercury move of the day? Wait, what, what? Well done, my friend, and it is. The one thing that we're seeing Brandon Cobb do in this tournament is fish water literally he grew up on and really midway through day number three, it was one of the biggest calls he made the entire tournament. I don't know about area wise. I'm gonna try to fish where I caught most of my fish the last two days, but I'm worried it might get a little crowded with some weekend boat traffic. And uh, I just know how that affects the area. Knowing the lake, I know that it, it messes up pretty bad. So uh, might have to go find something different, but still ready to go. Might be a good one. Yeah. I guess a three pounder. Hit the seat or hit your legs. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was a good decision. Come up here. Well, that might be the only fish in the creek here, but it was a good call coming here. Ah, uh, yes, it was, Tommy Sanders. Fair to say, one of the strongest moves we've seen all season. Absolutely, and, and there's no end to the moves that Brandon Cobb probably has still. In his toolboxes, he tries to engineer a wire-to-wire -wire victory here. He's led the first two days. Let's take it to the weigh-in and see if he can make it three. Started the day with 37 pounds and an ounce. He's looking for 12-12 to take the lead here today. Five fish all alive, 18-5! And Brandon Cobb once again reminds him this is his home pond.
Well put by our friend Dave Mercer and friends, we're happy to have you with us here as we get ready for the final day of fishing at Lake Hartwell. That elusive blue trophy, so hard to capture one of those things, but Brandon Cobb has laid the foundation for that right there. You see the six pound lead over the rest of this tough, tough field in pursuit of him. We take it down to 10 anglers and we take you into championship Sunday when we return. Well, three days go by very quickly. Three days in the book here at this third stop of the year for the Bassmaster Elite Series at Lake Hartwell. Always a ton of fun when they are catching them and catching them really good. And in big numbers, there's our leaderboard. As it stands right now, Cobb on top by a tremendous margin, really, when you consider it. Six pounds ahead of Frazier, Blaylock, Cook, and low one. So we've got to, we've got the table set for Brandon Cobb. There's no doubt about that. Well, and really this time of year on a lake like Hartwell, having over a five pound lead, somebody's gonna have to gamble to really catch him on championship Sunday. The other side of that is what we've learned about Lake Hartwell, anything can happen on the final day. We've seen that in the past. Final day championship Sunday on Lake Hartwell. What a great setting we have. Green Pond Landing in wonderful Anderson, South Carolina. Great host city. Absolutely one of the best venues we go to. And Brandon Cobb with a solid lead here on championship Sunday. With that being said, he still has to catch him. I've been doing this a long time and um, it'd be cool to win here close to home and all that. But uh, you know, it, it's just, uh, we, got, we got a mountain to climb, but it's doable, you know, Brandon's got to catch him, and uh, there's several of us on his heels that, that have a chance if we catch 20 something pounds, you know, so I'm just thankful to be here no matter what though. If we're gonna be able to see them today, we're gonna have to definitely get in some clean water or find fish that are up there super shallow. So uh, stay on that trolling motor just like we have been and uh, see if we can't find five big ones because it's gonna take 20 pounds again to even have a chance I feel like today. Be hard to bet against that guy, Brandon Cobb, as he tries to go wire to wire. We win this third stop of the year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. There's our final day rules. Again, we're down to 10 anglers, eight hours of fishing. Your five heaviest bass and your heaviest four day total can bring you that trophy we're talking about. Exactly right. We're gonna take a look from our takeoff here at Green Pond Land and where all of our anglers are headed to really spread out pretty well. The Seneca River has been a major player. You see a couple anglers fishing down near the dam, but for the most part, these bass are coming shallow right into the wheelhouse of so many of our shallow water anglers. One of them, young Micah Frazier. that one yesterday. There was, there was a bigger one with it, but I thought I'd throw over there from a distance. He ate it. I was pulling it over that log and he came up and ate it like a topwater bay. None of our 10 anglers out there today in a tournament setting have been competing on this water as far along, as far into spring as it is this time around, but they are all so dialed in. Exactly right, and really a lot of our leaders having to start over every single day and refine the bass. And one of those anglers that went on a crazy flurry here on Championship Sunday, Stetson Blaylock. That one ain't very big, but he is fighting. Well, that's a way to start the day. Huh? What about that? Put a little blind casting to him. It's a nice one. I did not expect that at all. That's a surprise. What do you do when it's raining and you can't see them? You just throw where you think they should be? I absolutely made like three pulls with my rod. Nothing was there like air and I'm still half asleep. I didn't even realize one had it swimming off with it. There's another one up there, but I'm not, I don't know if it's the male and I caught the female or
That was the male then, I caught the female first. In the mouth. Hey, I'll take that for a start when I didn't think I had anything left. Now I gotta see if I can remember where that other one was over there. I didn't see enough of them in here yesterday to make me think there's a bunch of them locked on, but I could be totally wrong. Big old spot, I think. Yeah, it's a big old spot. Look at that. If I can get him. The size of that spotted dog. Huh? <laughs> the old dingers getting it done today. They can't make up their mind what they want to eat. You know what they say about slow and steady. Oh, yes, absolutely we do. And can it win the race? Well, consider slow morning for Brandon Cobb and Stetson Blaylock from six pounds back has already overtaken him, Shane Lehue, right behind. We really look for Brandon Cobb to blow this thing out early. That has not happened. Stetson Blaylock, who's one of the actually veterans in the Bassmaster Elite Series, knows what that blue trophy would mean to him. Oh, my gosh. Gotcha. Yes. Inside the mouth, way down deep. You know, winning an event and winning that blue trophy is something that, as an angler, it's the pinnacle of your career to win an event. Yes, there's Anglers of the Year. Yes, there's Bassmaster Classics, but you've got to set your bars and you've got to start. And for me, until I win a blue trophy, I think about it every day, all day. I dream about it at night. It's something that I long to do and to be able to hold that trophy up on stage. Hopefully my family will get to be there, but I guarantee you it's coming soon. <laughs> the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Hartwell is brought to you by Toyota. Yamaha, Skeeter Boats, and by Power Pole. Championship Sunday here on Lake Hartwell. Lots of stories working right here. One of the stories we always look at, one of the big points races, is the Dick Sporting Goods. Bassmaster Rookie of the Year title, and uh, though our leader to start the day, Brandon Cobb, is not eligible for that, we got a tough bunch of rookies here, led by young Patrick Walters in second place, and first place, Drew Cook, and they know what a hot ticket winning this award would be. Winning Rookie of the Year is pretty important because you only get one shot at it. You, know, you can't go back next year and try again, uh, So, and it's something that that's on your record, your resume, that can't be taken away. So it, it's a pretty big deal, and I'm, I'm gunning for it for this year. Yeah. Yeah, it'll help the cause. About time I caught one just fishing. Drew Cook again, one of the big time contenders for Dick Sporting Goods Bassmaster Rookie of the Year. And he's big trouble potentially for the rest of these anglers today. Remember, he caught 20, almost 20 and a half pounds on day number two. How about young Shane LeHue? Catawba, North Carolina, he caught 19.8 just to get here on this day. So many of these Carhartt College anglers that have really come out of the College Series into the Bassmaster Elite Series. And the one thing, watching a lot of these young anglers, brutal, brutal shallow water fishermen and incredible sight fishermen on the Elite Series now.
we go. That's how my luck's been. Uh, male's a three pounder, I lost it twice. Female's just cruising around, I flip to her and catch her. Not even on the bed. I mean, it's still only three pounds, but. Not a bad one, Shane Lee, Hugh, and all the rest of our nine anglers in pursuit of Brandon Cobb right now. And Brandon Cobb told us, I believe on Tuesday of this week, he said, look, the sun angle, everything's telling these fish it's time. It's just the temperature's been holding them back. Now with these warm nights, it has all changed. Exactly right. Looking at Stetson Blaylock and really all of our leaders, this is one of those weird tournaments that practice did not mean a lot. The reason why, the nighttime temps were Little so one. cold the last month. It would warm up and then it would get cold again and it would knock these fish back. And really, this has been a tournament where it kind of has transpired as the days have gone on and Stetson Blaylock has adjusted every single day. That's a big one. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there, baby. Come here. Come here. I don't want to get... Yeah! Hey, check that out. Think they won't buy the pop hard in April? Yeah, baby. Sometimes you gotta adjust a little bit. Oh, we gotta make them earn it. That's all it is. We gotta make them earn it. Hey, that's getting closer. Getting closer. Absolutely phenomenal. I think it's a worthy recipient of our Skeeter Taste the Bait segment here. Uh, it's fair to say if you watch this strike, <laughs> if it, what's so bizarre about that, it, it's almost like the scene out of Jaws with Sheriff Brody where Jaws shows himself, but yet it's kind of T&P. It's a little bit tender and precious, almost like a dog grabbing is, is a bone. Right? Oh, okay. Like, I Zachary. thought of it more as a shoplifting uh, sur <laughs> surveillance camera, but I love it either way. It, you kind of could not keep your eye off of that top water lure. <laughs> it's so it's Let's so get fun. in on that. Yeah. I can see you. That's one of the Great best Great shot ever. right there from one of our Bassmaster Elite Series cameramen. And a good one right there for Stetson Blaylock. And I go back around the corner right now with Brandon Cobb with an unusually slow morning so far. Yeah, Brandon Cobb trying to go wire to wire in this thing, and that is a rare thing on the Bassmaster Elite Series because it is so hard to do. But as you say, a very slow morning here and finds himself in second place, not quite to, to 60 pounds even yet. But really, if you look at the history of Brandon Cobb on this lake, uh, he has done a lot of damage, literally, on the banks we're watching him. Two BFL wins here on Hartwell. And the other thing is, he said, I'm not fishing in an area of the lake where I feel the biggest ones live. I'm fishing in an area of the lake that I know the best, an area I grew up in, and I'm just fishing what's in front of me. And really, so far this tournament, well, except for today, it's been all big ones. Yeah, look at that blistering pace. He has said it'd be hard to keep that pace, but looks like that's what he's going to have to do if he wants this win. <laughs> She ain't that big. <sighs> Got her. <laughs> that was easy. Yep. <laughs> That's a three pounder. Usually I misjudge them, but I nailed that one about right. Three pounder. <laughs> yeah. My hand's shaking a little bit. Well, every single day of this Bassmaster Elite Series tournament, you've seen Brandon Cobb slip a little bit, but it's been bass like that that absolutely get him back into the game. Yeah, timely into a, a brief cold spell this morning of Championship Sunday, but 
be warned that any of the four or five guys behind him could jump a big five or six pounder and it will be back on again. We'll see if that happens when we come back. Bassmaster Elite Series 2019. This is stop number three at Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. We're watching a lot of races, but none more so than this one. Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Brandon Cobb, our tournament leader to start today in second place. And look who's on top. North Florida's Drew Cook on the strength of a, a top 20 finish on the St. John's River. Backs it up with a top 12 on Lake Lanier. That is strong, strong stuff for this young man. I know you've spent some time with him on the water, Mark Zona. And he has a reputation as an ace at sight fishing, catching these bed and bass too, so let's watch Drew Cook. She, she's staying up there, or whenever she does leave, they're small, small little circles, and every time she comes back into the bed and I shake it, she turns to it and, you know, she acts like she wants to, to eat it. Now she's staying off the bed, so I'm gonna touch her with it. Not hit her with it, but just touch her with it so she'll move back up, back up onto the bed. That's how you do it. Well, it's been fish like that and bigger that have made or broke this event for a lot of our Elite Series anglers. One of those anglers, quiet all week long, but steady, Mark Menendez, who has found a giant on a bed. If I can ever get him out of bed, I know I can catch her. First cast. First cast. You don't want that in there. Well, folks, it's not as if Mark Menendez hasn't had his big fish muscles warmed up already this year. What a great start for the veteran Bassmaster with three Bassmaster wins. And he really knocked him out at St. John's. He knocked him out at St. John's, but if you look at the history of Mark Menendez on the Elite Series, the guy just catches giant bass. It looks like he's definitely found one of those here on Lake Hartwell. Oh, she got up there. She ran up there then. Got her. Shadalicious, baby. Shadalicious. Success for Mark Menendez there. He's going to see if he can catch the other resident of that bed right there as we get back with our current leader, Brandon Cobb. Went for the longest time today with only three fish in the live well. In fact, uh, surrendered the lead for a while. He's back in it right now, and he's ready to make another move, Mark Zona. Brandon Cobb said his biggest fear coming into this tournament is that those giants that live down near the dam would come shallow, start spawning, and really collide with a lot of the other leaders in this tournament. Brandon Cobb said, I will live in the Seneca. It's where I'm most familiar with and just fish what's in front of me. And so far, he has been flawless. That's a new one. Don't go that way. I feel his teeth on the line, so I don't pull too hard. That one will help. Good thing I didn't pull very hard on him. First one I've caught off the dock in two days. Good one, too. Definitely a good one, a timely one as well. And as the water temperatures continue to warm, 
Brandon Cobb getting closer and closer to putting this tournament on ice and notching his first win. The Bassmaster Elite Series, a great story in Brandon Cobb. Lots of success throughout his career. Comes from a small town South Carolina background, and he is all about Lake Hartwell, and it is most certainly showing today of all days. That was easy, that time. Uh, since I started fishing, I mean, this is one of the biggest moves I've ever made in, in bass fishing, specifically professional bass fishing. I mean, the Elite Series is the top tier. It's a huge stage. It's the biggest stage. From Greenwood, South Carolina, the C O double B, Brandon Cobb! Super excited. More excited than I've been basically since since pond fishing when I was little. So it's gonna be awesome. And Brandon Cobb once again reminds them this is his home pond. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Hartwell is brought to you by Humminbird, Minn Kota, Talon, and by Mercury. Final minutes of the final day of this Bassmaster Elite at Lake Hartwell. Again, thanks to everyone in Anderson, South Carolina, the whole Hartwell fishing community. What a great place for a tournament. No doubt about it. Micah Frazier, last few minutes, really has maximized his entire tournament. Said it was one of the worst practices he has ever had in an Elite Series tournament, not just Lake Hartwell. And really, well, he's maximized his entire week here. If that one will bite easy, I'll catch him and see if he'll help me. The other day, the first day, I was working on one like this. And all of a sudden, the other one came in there and ate my bait. Yep, the bigger one came in there just out of the blue like that. That fish is bigger than I thought he was. That's, that's a nice fish. Other one, other one's probably a four pounder. If it, if that one's that big, I thought this was like a two pounder. Well, a good keeper, a timely keeper there for Micah Frazier. Started the day in second place, albeit six pounds back, and slipped all the way, well, down the leaderboard to fifth, but now he's back in third place. Exactly right, and Brandon Cobb knows these last few minutes very critical for his first Elite Series win. I don't know, man. I've been so close so many times and just have not ever been able to seal it. And uh, I'm hoping this is the one. I, it's kind of one of those things, though. I feel like I got enough right now, but because I've been close so many times and just fell a little bit short, I won't be happy till I've got 20. I know, I know that probably I'm probably safe then. She's looking. She swam by. Oh, she got it. Ain't that big. She ain't near as big as I thought she was. She'll call. Don't do that. <laughs> in the mouth. Well, that's been a primary weapon this entire week, throwing a zoom trick worm for spawning fish. Said he has higher percentage landing with that technique right there, and really, that's been a huge key, has been all of his execution this week. From there, you gotta go back to Stetson Blaylock, probably the best fish catches we've seen all year. That's him. 
That's him. That's him. Oh my. That's a difference maker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Think he wanted that popping pad crasher? Huh? Yes! Oh, it don't get any better than that. Now give me some. Mm. Woo-wee! It gets me all jiggly inside. That's a difference maker. Oh my goodness. I think he wanted that. Big one, big one, big one. Open your mouth over there. Oh my gosh. Gosh, he might not win this tournament, but he has put on a show the last few days. And he did exactly what he had to do in the waning hours of this championship Sunday. Two giant keepers in the boat. The only guy really with a chance of catching Cobb. From Arkansas, Stetson Blalock. He's looking for 13-11 to take the lead. 19 pounds and an ounce. 19-1, and Stetson Blaylock is your brand new leader. You ain't going anywhere yet. You're gonna load our hot seat. It, uh, we'll see how this all breaks down. He has 19 top 30 finishes on the Bassmaster Elite Series. From Georgia, rolling in in the Coca-Cola wrap, Micah Frazier. Looking for 19 pounds even. Five fists for 13, 10, he moves into second place, but let's celebrate another Championship Sunday performance from Micah Frazier. And then there were two. Let's roll through our final angler. He's trying to do something that has not happened since 2017. Something rare, something spectacular, and that's to go wire to wire. He has led this tournament since day number one. He's a four-time Forest Wood Cup qualifier, never finished outside of the top 10 in that championship event. From Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb! Has been dreaming of this moment since he was seven years old. Stetson, let's get side by side. Start the day with 55-6, looking for 13-6. 16 pounds, 14 ounces, 16. Brandon Cobb, I will give you that he had a six pound lead to start today's proceedings, Championship Sunday, but he had some big guns on his tail as well. And Brandon Cobb, Mark Zona, when you think about it, the, the thing that stands out the most is how completely mistake free he was. It was, really, and we always talk about this in any Elite Series victory, it is you have to, by the end of the tournament, uh, be flawless. And that's really what he, and there were some yeah. of the best shallow water anglers on the Elite Series chasing him, but at the end of the day, it was all execution. What a rare thing in this day and age to go wire to wire in a tournament too. Let's not let that be forgotten. I think it's fair to say, um, coming into this, everybody said he knows this lake. 
he pretty much proved that this event. Yale, yeah, it's something different every time, and it will be a completely different scene at Winya Bay. Maybe we should save the analysis till then because uh, and just see how it opens up. It was entertaining last no time. No doubt about it. Winya, here's the one thing I can tell you by the end of that tournament, it will be a way, way tighter race. See you at Winya Bay next time right here on the Bassmaster Elite Series.